This presentation is designed to help authors understand what they can do to maximise the impact and exposure of their research publications. This is achieved by depositing a copyright appropriate version of their paper in the University of Adelaide's Institutional Repository, which is Adelaide Research and Scholarship, or AR&S. POP and SIGN are the two things you need to remember. So what do we mean by POP and SIGN? Well, let's assume you have just received a communication that your article or conference paper has been accepted for publication. It's time to celebrate. But before you pop that champagne cork, send your accepted manuscript to the library so that it can be added to the AR&S database. Or if you prefer, make the deposit yourself online. This version of your paper should be the accepted, peer-reviewed version prior to any typesetting, copy editing, or typographical changes made by the publisher. The reason for this is that over 60% of publishers allow authors to deposit their accepted manuscript, but not the publisher's version, in an open access repository. This brings us to the next thing you can do to maximise exposure of your publications. And that is, before you sign any publisher's agreement, check to make sure that you are not giving away your rights to expose your paper via an open access repository. As an author, until you sign an agreement, you hold all the rights to your paper. When you sign an agreement, you can either transfer all those rights to the publisher or to the conference organisation, or you can choose to transfer only some rights and to specifically retain the right to put your accepted manuscript in the university's open access repository. If you'd like to deposit your paper before you pop that champagne cork, then you can either send it to the library's digital services team or self-submit using the Submit Your Work option on the ARNS website. To submit your work, there are three easy steps to follow. Firstly, choose the type of publication from a drop-down list. This could be a journal article, a conference paper, a technical report. Secondly, you need to describe the work. This would include author's names, title of work, journal title and publisher, date of publication, all of the elements that would then make up a citation to this work. Finally, you need to upload the files, which is of course your accepted manuscript. If you need help with any of this, the ARNS website contains useful FAQs as well as numerous links to other resources. If you prefer to contact us directly, then simply email or phone us. We're here to help you.